The other art fair is a fair with a bit of a difference. It's all completely dedicated to independent artists representing their own work. I've been working with the team as a selection panel member, helping choose the artists that you see here at the fair. On average, the fair gets around 350 to 500 applicants. There will be returning artists who have exhibited with us before and have built up a following over time. And there will also be artists who have never even had the opportunity to show their work in person before. And they're doing it for the very first time here at the fair. My name is Kasia Frankowitz and I'm an artist. I have done a few fairs. I literally have stopped counting. I keep coming back because relying solely on the internet is really difficult. Getting a gallery is really hard. Um, I don't even know if I'd be noticed if it wasn't for this fair. I've learned a lot doing it and I can only say that I'm growing because of it. I'm Linda Hyde and I'm a painter and a printmaker. I really wanted to do this fair because I've been painting for a very long time but I still feel like I'm just an emerging artist. I'm looking forward to it in some ways and I'm terrified in others. My name is Owen, Owen Moyo. I'm a Sydney-based artist. I heard about the other art fair from a friend of mine. I thought like, yeah, that's a good idea, why not? I'm not really nervous at all about, you know, meeting people. I'm just happy to see this as an experiment. That self-representation opportunity is really valuable in a number of ways. One, obviously financially, in that whatever they sell, the commission rate here is much less than in a commercial gallery setting. And then secondly, that direct contact with collectors and getting that feedback on work, that's really valuable information for an artist. The first time I ever did this, I went overboard. I was like, everything has to be perfect. I need to have 20,000 million artworks. And I just went absolutely crazy and I would measure everything out perfectly. But now I just want to have fun. I made a little scale model so that I would know exactly where things were going to go. And um, yeah, it's a complete scale model. <laughs> like most artists, I'm a bit of a recluse. So it's, you know, getting out there is, is a little bit difficult, but you know, I'm going to give it my best shot. I prepared for the fair by really thinking of how I want to show myself, as in what I'm capable of. I think one of the biggest challenges doing this fair is just believing in yourself and backing yourself. You invest so much money and time and effort into doing it and you take time off to, to just prepare for this one like event. And if it all goes to shit, you can't take that upon yourself. So it's a matter of just believing in yourself and persevering and that's what I'd recommend. So opening night's really important, you know, incredibly busy, a real frenzy of activity. I actually really need some new art. I just moved in to Sydney from Perth, so yeah, I thought this would be the best place for it, actually. There are over 130 artists exhibiting their stuff. You get exposed to so many, I don't know, so, so many things you wouldn't normally. I think that's, that's one of the coolest things about the other art fair. I think something great about this fair is that it shows that the art world doesn't need to feel exclusionary, scary or stuffy. Just calm down and get amongst it and you might surprise yourself. Lots of people coming, lots of talking, but the sales aren't as good. But I trust that that's just a Thursday night thing and that they'll be back on Friday for more. It was a little bit slow to get started. And of course, you're very nervous. To have this opportunity to speak to so many different people, you know, I've got to really make myself do it. A lot of people are showing interest and uh, it's been uh, really elevating, I would say. And uh, so far, so good. It's a marathon, not a sprint. And for a lot of artists, it's trying to make sure you pace yourself and sustain yourself through the whole four days. This fair has been really, really good. I'm really, really pleased with all the feedback I've gotten. It's gone gangbusters. Like, I'm thrilled, like, so good. There's one dude that came around and he purchased like uh, one of these anti-Warhol works 
And he's like, oh, so I've got a real Warhol at home? And I'm like, you're kidding me. And he's like, nah. And he's putting it next to his real Warhol at home. It's pretty wild. My experience at the fair has been a blast. I have had the best time. I seriously have had the best time. There was one woman that, that came and she stood in front of the painting and she looked at it and it was just like instant. Like it was just it. That was, she wanted it so much. I did sell a few prints and few original paintings. That made me feel way confident about my art. I think I would do another fair in the future, but of course I, I'm gonna have to prepare myself even more. Will I be back for fair number seven? So tentative. I think I will be back. I think it's been such a good opportunity for me, so um, it's, yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs>